Assalamu alaikum guys I hope you're fine so today topic is about how we can simply upload uh, a file or a video to a AWS S3 bucket from a front end so it's respective to uh, the front end is on react on uh, angular or on videos you just need to alter some uh, functions which I have created and the work will be done hopefully so let's start it before we start the video i have also a tutorial about how we can send the file or a video from a node.js server to aws s3 bucket so check it out if you want to learn from that so i have created four functions the first one fun function is upload to s3 bucket with this function will be responsible to upload the stream or you can upload a file or a video to a s3 bucket after that we have a function get uploading progress this function will indicate me that how much a uh, file or folder is uploaded to the uh, aws s3 bucket or how much remains then there is a function of upload media this function is equally uh, and mainly used for configure the keys and streaming media which i want to send to aws s3 to configure and uh, ready to upload and finally we have get file which will be used to get the file or video of anything uh, from the front end uh, by a user from the browser so if i open this function it is simply a promise which will be used to resolve or reject the resolver function will only get the uh, only get the file which is sending uh, to a get file uh, function as a parameter and resolve it and then reader dot read as array buffer will convert this file into an array buffer which will be used to upload to AWS 3 then if I move to this upload media this function is mainly used to first configure all the keys uh, like for the AWS like the access key ID which will you can get from the AWS bucket of your AWS bucket the secret key the signature version the region and the bucket so I have a bucket of name large file then I have a region of ES US East one I have version four and I have not put the keys for the security purpose uh, you can also find your keys from the s3 bucket uh, of your AWS account so after that I have simply create a variable uh, media streaming request which will uh, call a function which I have already told you about the get file and this get file function will uh, will uh, will uh, need to get a file which we will get from the front end where user need to upload a file or fold uh, or video after that uh, as this is a promise so i have resolved it in a promise at all and uh, get the media stream ready for to send aws3 bucket function so this function as i told you earlier is responsible to upload all the media to the s3 bucket so i uh, they the, there are three parameters which need to send to this function the first one is media stream the second one is traditional request and the third one is progress uh, which is a uh, you can say a function so the first one is media stream is the media stream which user want to upload like a file or a uh, video anything the second one is traditional request which is a uh, object of a uh, s3 bucket which have a secret key i have a access key region bucket and etc things so let's see what this function is doing so if i click uh, if i open this function we have a first condition which is check whether aws uh, is configured in our uh, windows or not so how to configure the aws you just need to go to index.html and you just need to copy this uh, script file sdk aws uh, amazon aws.com and just need to paste it on a script tag in a html body and it will automatically uh, inject the AWS in your windows so there is a condition which is checking if the AWS is configured or not then in a video variable then if there is a condition which is checking is config update if the is config update is updated like if you have the window.aws config updated so you just need to oh, go on with the flow to upload the file so after that I have a simple variable which is s3 and I am just creating a new instance of windows.aws.s3 with uh, some configuration which need a credentials like API version access key secret access key which we will get from the credential uh, which are getting in this as a second parameter which we send it from 
here as object so yeah i am uh, distracting distracting all the keys and assigning to the uh, credit shell uh, of function of aws so it will configure uh, the uh, uh, aws uh, credentials to, uh, to ready to be authenticate the uploading file then there's a function of upload which i am using with a await which is a async function and used to send the uh, file to a bucket so the first one is bucket what bucket uh, i need to send a, uh, a file or a video anything so i have a bucket name uh, which is large file zero then what is the key like what is the name of the what will be the name of the file so you can place dynamic name as a file name here uh, uh, getting from the getting file name from the file which you are uploaded as i have get the type also so you can get name also but i have simply for hard coded it right now then i uh, have what is content type so i have get the content type from the file whether it is uh, png whether it is mp3 or anything else then body which is a stream which we are getting from a first parameter of this function which are which we send it earlier from this function calling which is a media stream which is a file or a video yeah so these all parameters which need to be uh, which need to be add in this upload function as object then on dot on function we will get the progress of uh, 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 of the uploaded current uploaded uh, how much uploaded has been done on the aws so this will be a callback function which i have earlier mentioned that i we are sending a third parameter a function which will be indicate the how much progress we are on uploading so this will send the progress loaded and the progress total so if i go to this function which is get uploading progress and it simply say uploaded size total total size and divide by uh, divide by total size and 100 by total it will give you the fixed percentage uh, uh, of how much uh, uploaded has been successfully done so let's see the example and uh, 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 by uploading any file on the server so let me just put a key uh, on my this uh, this uh, fields and see so, so I have a view on front end like this which uh, is uh, simple uh, and now I need to select a file which I need to upload on AWS let me select this file and then if I click on upload it would be upload so yeah if you can see this there's a progress which is showing that it's 13% loaded 15% uh, loaded 39 34% percent loaded 57 and then 100% and then I get the response which have a URL which we I can which I can hit and see my videos uploaded on my S3 buckets so here's the video which has a unique URL and if I go to my bucket and refresh it let me check whether there is a video or not so yeah there is a video uh, which is uh, uploaded on 27 January and 4.35 am so yep I have successfully uploaded the video so uh, you can transfer these functions into any uh, uh, framework like any library like React.js, Vue.js and Angular and use it uh, with your front end. So hopefully you like the content, please like, share, subscribe and comment below for any problem you face, if there's any problem you face on this uh, uh, tutorial. So, uh, I hope you will see you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.